interesting opening. <laughs> uh, very unconventional. Wow. I would recommend avoiding the two space high until you're stronger, but I don't know. Maybe it's fine. All right, here's the first one that's weird. <laughs> but I think this might be a trick move or something. Let's see how it plays out. Interesting. Um, so firstly, we always want to check uh, cutting points. Um, so if we do that and we check uh, blocks cutting points, looks like it's good for block. And if we do that, that should be just good for block. Um, so I think Y has to go here. Sorry, here. Uh, like this, 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 this. This is probably the best order. And then here. And this feels maybe slightly good for white. Uh, but black pushed the diagonal, which in theory is a bad shape. Um, however, white uh, is still cuttable, and then this would lead into that again. Um, and I was looking at this one, because this one, white is not cuttable. But white has a little bit worse shape in the corner. And black did not cut. Um, and black didn't make the tiger's mouth here and then make a base. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I can't say without like doing research with AI on this move because it's not a conventional move. But I would say the keys here are watching the cutting points. So if I look at the conclusion, if I play right here as white, I want to say it's good for white because black has a cutting point and the base can be stolen, whereas white is really strong. So if I do this, I want to say it's slightly good for white. This one, um, don't back off, uh, get in their face, attack or attack. You could also unsettle first and then pincer, and you can pincer by taking the tiger's mouth shape. However, you do have to keep in mind that this stone over here can be cut off, and I think that's one of the keys uh, to this position. Uh, this one's a little close, because if I pincer you here, uh, you are really close to a very strong group. I think... Yeah, mm -hmm. I was, I was uh, thinking as, that as well. Hmm. If you go here, though, what, black can just pincer with, while making a base. Right. Um, I would go this way if I'm planning to go here and tr start getting into the tricky AI stuff, because maybe you can outread your opponent. But uh, if we're just looking local, um, low stones pincer high, and high pincers... Low stones pincer high, excuse me, and high pincers low. So low pincering high here I think is perfectly fine, and then we can go here... Uh, knight's moves do have cutting points, so it's a little dangerous, but we should have the advantage in the fight because we have so many strong friends. Versus black, which can be, uh, which is all on the fourth line, it could potentially make eyes under it. So, it's a little bit of a fight, um, but I think probably this is not a fight you should back down from. Uh, you could just jump as well. I think this is also possible. Um, maybe make some quick profit and then try to run away very quickly. Uh, that could be a possible way to play this as well. Um, another way that you can bully a stone is by capping. Um, but this is starting to get really big for black over here. But sometimes it is possible to do that in order to build up a position of your own. But I want to say black's is bigger. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 
4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Because uh, there's still reductions. So I want to say black scissors is bigger by Comey. And also black can be the reducer and also get value out here. So probably more than Comey. Uh, but that is another way to sometimes play uh, against one stone. But I think the pencil here is the answer. This is very passive. If you're going to attack, attack. Um, so one space away, that's where you want to be. Uh, but if you're two spaces away, I feel a lot less pressured, and I can always make another eye right here if I need to, because you're so far away. So uh, be in their face when you're attacking. Mm, this moves passive. I think right now is the perfect time to come back and attack white. Because these two stones don't have a base. Black has a base right here. Black has uh, a base right here. Also some base right here. So now is the time to be aggressive because these two stones have no base. So let's start surrounding. Yeah, so this one's uh, very passive. It does take the base of this white stone, so white doesn't uh, want to fix locally. White wants to fix. So yeah, I like this move. This is greedy. <laughs> this is a good way to get in a lot of trouble. So we are a base right here, but I would not call this like super comfortable for black. So getting another weak group right here, um, let's imagine white comes straight through. This is only one eye. So if white can come straight through and then come back and attack you, you're going to be in trouble. So if I was white, I would try to save this stone while attacking this and try to keep both groups cut off from each other. Mm, this is passive, I think. Because it doesn't connect, so it's not worth it. Hmm, maybe double honey. You could also try to see if black will respond there first. Um, and maybe even go here immediately. Uh, th that's some ideas, anyway. I have no idea what this move does. <laughs> uh, this is just not good. Try to cut. You need to cut white more. I think uh, right here and right here, we see that you are not valuing cutting off the weak stones. So that's probably one of the key middle game strategies here that you need to uh, that you should learn. Uh, white, it should definitely be here. This is a lot easier to read versus here. Oh, maybe just that. Yeah, this one's a lot more complicated and probably not good. Just, just be connected, I think is the simple answer. Okay. It's a lot of knight's moves. Mm, I think this is okay. I like attacking from strength, so not attacking when you have weakness in the area is probably an okay plan. So trying to gain strength first before aiming for the cutting points, I think, is okay. This is very awkward. I think you're worried about going here. But the, the thing is, the entire point of this is that you can squeeze uh, these, two st uh, these stones right here. So you don't need to worry too much about it. Maybe like this. Yeah, I wouldn't stress too much about it. Uh, if you really want, you can jump first and then come back and do it. Now it's a tiger's mouth, so it's even easier to play against. This is very slow, though, because it doesn't really run away very well. Yeah, and it helps black fix the cutting points, too. Okay, I don't dislike this jump, but I thought we were saving this, but I guess maybe you thought it was okay. It still feels uncomfortable to me. This stone did not help it enough for an entire move. 
This is super slow. I don't know what this move does. Um, attack. And then there's something. Um, we can also unsettle here. And then attack here. Yeah, I think attack something is the answer. Yeah, I think White's in a losing position if we don't attack anything. Um, because the bottom right and bottom left are slightly bigger than the top left and top right. And Black has the initiative um, right now. Because if White never attacks, uh, then how could White gain control? That's a very awkward shape. Just go here and then looks for the dog's face. Maybe even just go here directly. Um... Yeah, that's just the net, actually. Yeah, uh, you can't even be cut if you go here. It's just the net. I lied. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ah, the net go here. Duh. And now it's either a net or connection. This is actually a very famous, well, I say famous, it's a very popular um, response. So the way you can cut through a knight sometimes is push one side and then clamp the other. This is a way to cut uh, the double knight's move. So when there's a knight, 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 um, so there's two knight's moves. The way you can cut it if the direct cut does not work is sometimes clamp. And the way you counter this, as you just saw, is we go here, not here. Just don't fall for that and you don't get cut. So it's a nice little pattern to remember. You can catch your opponents off guard sometimes when it comes up, uh, comes up because they think it's connected and it's not. It is a very awkward looking shape though. Okay, no, everyone needs to attack something. <laughs> no one, everyone is so passive. Uh, if we don't attack, we like you don't really gain a lead. Uh, it's a nice reduction, but there's weak groups on the board. Uh, you got a Nobi here because it's cuttable. I lied. I lied again. I'm lying a lot. I didn't. <laughs> okay, I guess you're fine. I don't know if you read that through, but it looks like it's fine. No B. Because you're trying to reduce. Reduce. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Cutting it off and attacking. Now we're getting. Oh, and the way to Nikki. Uh, I'm not sure why. What about. Give me through. Uh, this is actually uh, another shape to look out for. When our opponent has an elephant eye, which is a diagonal one space jump, um, the way to respond to it, as Buzzsaw did, is to play a knight's move um, either at A or B. Uh, the follow up beyond that, though, is another knight's move. The idea being is I'm still going to keep you cut and we're going to fight for control of this area. So elephant equals knight, which equals knight. So elephant, knight, knight. Or sleeping elephant. Imagine Dumbo sleeping on a fluffy pillow. Uh, and that's the elephant goes knight, knight. Nice end game. Which, Basar, reviewed a game in a, that you played in a lesson earlier where you actually started end game at the AI timing level. So... Your in-game timing is doing good this week. Uh, wouldn't go up, though. Because in in-game, we go here if we're going to respond. Because if we go here, then Black still has the in-game. But if we go here, Black doesn't have the in-game because it's Gote for Black. So if uh, you're gonna... That's good to know. Yeah. I didn't realize that. 
Um, that is the difference. So this is one more point, but less sente. And sente is much more important. Okay. Ooh, Black's learning from you. I think don't play here. Uh, I think you still have plenty of time to go do all this stuff. Um, arguably, you can do this uh, because I think the clamp doesn't work. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, it does? Seriously? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. That shouldn't work. Okay, what if we go one more? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't work. It should totally not work because you have a stone. You have a friend right here. <laughs> anyway, this is this I what you can do. If you read. Yeah, I mean you should be, but <laughs> technically, if you can read that far, you can get another move. It's a whole two points. That's what Don's worry about is those two points. I, I swear I spend more time reading a one point difference move than I do a life and death problem sometimes. Um, okay, okay. Very nice. Yeah, I think your end game bus has been very good in the last week. This one is Dame. Boop, 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 boop. This is a uh, ice base, so you can still attack this. By the way, <laughs> this is still on the board. Uh, and then when that lives, somehow we can also attack this one. This is also still on the board. And then this has to live somehow. And so maybe we can make five points while this is trying to live. And then we can go back to end game. Yeah, attacking is the most valuable thing you can do in this game. If you're not attacking, then you're missing like two-thirds of how to win. Uh, it doesn't matter on this position, but I want to mention it because it's a very common mistake. Always try to fix this with the most points um, if there's another point available. So it doesn't look like here, but as you saw up here, um, so this one's fine here, but as you saw right here, if I fix right here, I get these two points, but if I fix right here, I get three points. So make sure you're always like, fixing in the best way possible. And also always double check that it actually the second line cut actually works. Um, don't be lazy about it. There, you're, You can lose a lot of points by being lazy. All right, I'm out of time for this one. So hopefully you both found that helpful. Thank you for the review.